The um, relationship started in 1982 when they endowed the Billy F. Andrews Endowed Chair for Pediatrics. Billy F. Andrews was the chair of pediatrics for many years. He did some amazingly innovative work in the care of newborns and um, premature infants. And they've endowed chairs such as the Billy F. Andrews Endowed Chair as well as a chair for cardiovascular surgery um, research. They also have funded a pediatric child abuse division or forensics medicine. They help us diagnose and treat child abuse. They help us advocate in the legislature as well as at, at the level of law enforcement, et cetera, to help recognize child abuse and then you know, do something to get kids into safe environments. Another area where they've done a lot is in pediatric cancer, not just with physicians, but with nurse navigators, with social workers, and people that help that um, broad experience of having a child with cancer and how scary that is, can be and how much support those kids need. And they've dedicated a lot of resources to helping us provide a autism center, which didn't exist until just uh, not that many years ago. And now we can reach out, provide not only diagnosis, but therapies and broader support with psychologists and language pathologists, occupational therapists, physical therapists, etc. Another mission is education. We want to do two things. We want to educate the community and we want to educate our trainees, our students and our residents to be able to provide the pediatric workforce of tomorrow. And if we don't do it, no one else will, right? They have supported two of our fellowships. One, Pediatric Infectious Disease, which is one of our first fellowships. And that fellowship has gone on to provide trainees that have done amazing things. For instance, leadership at the CDC. One person now is the leader of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. One of them is the current president of the Pediatric Infectious Disease Society and worked with the World Health Organization leaders to um, advocate for children around um, COVID. Another area is the Pediatric Child Abuse Fellowship. That fellowship trains pediatric residents who want to go on and do three more years on how to take care of children, diagnose children, treat children, and advocate and work within the legal system on behalf of those children. The financial support of the charities has allowed us to really give um, unique and interesting opportunities to those trainees. One of our main mission and vision focuses is research and innovation. And they have provided the support for buildings, like our COSER Charities Pediatric Center building, and we wouldn't have that space if it wasn't for the COSER Charities. The other pieces, we do have a Pediatric Research Institute that is basic science research. And the uh, space for that was supported by a grant from the COSER Charities. And so we do a lot of clinical research, especially around pharmacokinetics and pharmacological products for patients, chemotherapy products, et cetera, for different cancers. And so that's really exciting.